Um, did he? A little help here? Oh. Dixie, get the treasure and let's leave. Uh, Diddy, my buddy, buddy. I, thought we, I thought we were the best of friends. I sucked in Donkey Kong Country 1. It was just not a... F it you was know, a rough time for me as Diddy to learn all the new moves and stuff. But, you know perhaps, what? type, we can revenge ourselves. You know, yeah, I was about to say, you know what? You you talk about your performance in DKC two in DKC one. Don't worry, I'm gonna make you look like a pro in this game. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine. So yes. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I mean, honestly, it's I'm surprised this came came out as soon as it did. But um, welcome to our live playthrough of Donkey Kong Country two: Diddy's Conquest. Yep, and now that I know they can crank crankies out uh, pretty quickly, uh, I really hope that this means that we're going to be getting uh, Double Trouble or whatever it is. Uh, oh, like at this soon. point, I wouldn't be surprised if that's literally next on the docket. Awesome. So, we'll start ourselves a new game. We'll be two-player team. Yeah, no, no real competition here, eh? <laughs> Yeah. So there, there is no story. There is no story that's presented in the game right away. You have to read the manual to learn that uh, Donkey Kong got kidnapped by, yes. the, by the by King K. Rule. Now going, now going into his pirate phase and calling himself Captain K. Rule. No, we so don't know why. He's, we don't, we don't get either. So fortunately, as you can see, uh, literally just a stone's throw away from Kong Island, we hitched a ride on a boat and have commandeered it to arrive well, it's at Kremlin not, Island. It's not just any boat, it's the same boat we were on at the end of DKC1. This is the Gameplank Galleon. Which I oh, must yes, say yes. got a hell of an expansion for for the sake of Donkey Kong Country 2, because it literally makes up an entire world of the game. Yeah. That it does. So... Second. So yes, yeah, if it's no doubt, doubt immediately obvious, ladies and gentlemen. Since okay. I was I was Donkey Kong in the, <laughs> you missed the letter, dude. No, no, I, I know exactly what he's gonna do. Don't what tell him. Gonna, the, oh, what crap. are you gonna do? You'll Will see. it still work if you accidentally pick it up? Uh, let's hope. Otherwise, this gets really awkward really fast. Just gotta do this. What are you doing? You'll see. And it we was something that I, it, it amazed me when I first learned about this, and it amazed hype when I learned about when I showed him. Go in here. Okay. And there's a Jump balloon over there. This. Grab the balloon. Okay. Jump over it. I will avoid the plot. <laughs> no, 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 no. Screw the screw the plot. I want all the balloons. He's doing this yeah. for a good reason. We assure you. And we gotta jump over these guys one more time. Go this over is here, some very up, elaborate up. shit just to pull off an exploit. You, You'll you... see. It's a very helpful exploit. As soon as I follow these guys, uh, the whole point is, as you saw, don't collect any bananas except for those banana bunches. Okay. And jump in there, grab the balloon, come back, and ha! that's a coin. The fuck! Not just any coin. We got seventy of these buggers. Wait. Five. You literally got every single crank coin in the game just do just doing this. Wow. This. You know. In hindsight, this actually feels like the most accurate treasure hunt I've ever seen in a video game. You have to pull off the most inept, the most in stupid of shit just to get them all. <laughs> <laughs> so and the reason and, and we'll explain more about why that's important. I just want to grab that and take one less stress off our mind. So first off, James, know that the quote unquote percentage completed the game doesn't get updated by that. So you still would have to complete all the bonus rooms to really update it. But as far as the practical reason why you get the coins, we're basically covered for the whole game now. Okay, so but, I guess it, so I guess with that said, ladies and gentlemen, in some essence, we are doing a full playthrough of the game. Just don't expect us to do all the bonus rooms because that's how you technically get all those crimp coins. Now, how about yeah. we actually get along with that goddamn plot? Yes, I kidnapped that. Just you know what? You ruined the fight for me. I'm not going to say it hard. <laughs> what if the, what if his text actually changed? Like <laughs> what? This is a steep bear lark. Dear, dear <laughs> cheater, I hope you, I hope you pre appreciate all, all those coins you just so happened to steal from me. Home. Now, <laughs> as for this year, yeah. don't not for this donkey land lover, I'm going to make him walk the plank for for I your mean, for your actions. Reap what I you mean, sow, monkey fucker, Captain I mean, K. Rule. I mean, just you, oh crap! Oh, oh what the? Jeez. Oh, well, oh, there goes player crap, two. Well, I'm crap, not playing that soon. I mean, okay, just be glad I'm not going to also go for the warp barrels, which allow me to skip whole levels. Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let this be let this be a side of things to come. I'm not going to do it. I I, I actually I promise you, I'm not going to go for the uh, nice. I will not go for the warp barrels or you know the ones that let you cheese the Fine, game. But that, that 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 
that token the uh, the token cheese I just did there was the only one I'm gonna do just because I want just because there is actual plot connected to it I want to make sure we can try and show it off and offhand I don't know if Donkey Kong 3 has anything like that well if it really? does then we'll I mean honestly I wouldn't I would say it wouldn't hurt to implement it just because I'll argue Ooh. that in some regards DKC3 is a little worse about hiding in how it handles its um, post game secrets you gotta find all these you gotta find all these bear coins. Gotta find all of the uh, the, ba the banana birds. There's a lot to it. Like I, a little too much for its own sake. Dude, dude, and all for an ending that honestly feels very out of left field. <laughs> <laughs> Away, my noble steed! <laughs> Away. So yes. Uh, now that we're getting around to this game, uh, yeah, this was I thought a very fantastic uh, follow-up to the original. Uh, added a whole lot to the game, including introducing Dixie. Yep, who has pretty much become a fan favorite in the DKC series. Heck, I'd already argue the Mario series as a whole, just because she, well, in some ways beats Diddy out by a ponytail. Yep, which is why I'm going to allow Hype to, the chance to use Dixie so that I can't cheese this game with her. Because she was absolutely my lifeline going into it. And since we are in two-player group, a uh, two-player team, uh, unless one of us dies, we will be trading off levels. I must say, though, Logan, it is very humbling of oh. you to allow... <laughs> oh. Sorry, it's... I thought the hitbox would have lasted longer than that. It's fine. No, it's you gotta fine. jump on them first. Honestly, okay. those bugs could be a little bit of a trick... Bit of a... They're kind of a tricky bunch, assuming Here, hang on. you know how to handle them properly. But um, anyway, Wait. what was I gonna say? Logan, I must say, it <laughs> is rather humbling to let Hype borrow your girlfriend. <laughs> Ha! All right, so there you go. Now let's see if you can go for the challenge by jumping and doing. Because that's the other thing we learn quickly: is you have to use the hair attack to spin. Not, it's not a double jump, as in returns. Right. So, uh, I but yeah, I was very happy when this game came to the uh, SNES online because this is probably my. This is probably the one out of the trilogy. This is the one I remember the most fondly. May I just say it's kind of make a bold enough claim to say that I think Nintendo kind of. What's the what's the best way of putting it? They kind of just literally splurged a lot of their biggest hits in, within this past month. Honestly, uh, yeah, that in uh, that in uh, with um oh close that in with uh mm -hmm. yeah maybe we have to jump on them but that Twice. in with um or you can, or, yeah. you, or you, or you can, can use them as a projectile them. assuming you assuming they don't fly with anyone. Yeah, otherwise they'll fall back up. Anyway, what was I saying? Is that between that and and I was super. <laughs> Uh, nice, and I was super, I was super happy with uh, having Mario Pacross finally because I've always wanted to be able to play that. Yeah, so I'm, and... so, I'm actually surprised they put oh. Super Pacross on the service, but um, oh, don't worry, you can still use your ponytail Whee! to do the job. <laughs> Jeez, that's so satisfying. Nice work. Yes, it uh, is. So we have that. Uh, they had some other one called like the New Fighters or the New Heroes or something. Like oh, that. Uh, the Peacekeepers. Or, or, I think it's Peacekeepers. Yeah, it's peacekeepers thank you. Which I mean, that's like the one. Game of the bunch is like it's just there for the sake for the sake of obligation, but everything else like there's again Mario's Super Pitcross, mm -hmm. Donkey, Donkey uh, Diddy's Conquest. That stray banana both... looks suspicious. I say we investigate. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, please. We're gonna need all those we can get. But yeah, no. There was Mario Super Pitcross. There was Diddy's Conquest as we're playing right now. Oh, and even beforehand, <laughs> no worries. Even beforehand, like we got freaking Super Mario All Stars on the service. No thanks in part, to, or thanks in part to the uh, oh, Super Mario Super Mario Brothers 35th Anniversary Direct that aired a while back. Hey. <gasps> oh, jeez. Yes, that is true. And there's gonna be plenty more. Aren't you gonna do something about that, can it. that cannon? That I'm cannon doing. Ball? That's why I'm going back. Oh, that was a save oh, spawn. Yeah. Well, don't, don't worry, worry. But it, it, it should be back there. where we left it. Yeah, there it yep. is. Yep. Careful. Oh, that's right. The bugs, the bugs move faster too when you toss them once. It's just like you really what? did that to me. Well, come here. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, it's like the, uh, the it's like uh, the Super Mario Destroy Brothers like all. thingy. Where after the UL flipping. Okay, now you just got to toss it up at them. So, um, if, uh, you also I, look to the, if you actually look to your left or right, you can also oops, find oh. a pain. A pain. You can, if that you look to your right, you'll find pain. But in all seriousness, <laughs> though, if you look to your right, there was actually a bit, or it was either your left or the right, it doesn't really matter. But there's like two other projectiles you can use against them. Like one of them has a regular box, which you can, which is like a one-time use sort of thing. Oh, if you had Diddy right now, you could have easily got to that that bonus so, barrel. But you know what? Where? Don't worry too much about it. You. Logan already cheated to have so that you guys can have all all the print coins. We're not going to prioritize over bonuses this time around. Which is app, which again, it's very nice that we were able to do that. So now that's one less thing we have to worry about. And let's get out of here in Wait, style. And uh, now, hang on. It's like you want to jump when it's on the second banana. 
Oh, uh, wait. I God. don't think... Oh, hey, I don't know what oh, I'm wow. doing. <laughs> I was gonna say, I thought I thought it, I thought you would have been too low to the ground to register no, it. No, it's like, just, despite common belief, I'm not that big of an idiot. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, it does automatically swap to Kong, even if you only have one life, so... Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, okay, well, that's how's Cranky doing in, up there on the crow's nest? Holy crap, they killed Clubba. Oh. They killed Club. They killed Clubba. Club. He, he's keeping. He's holding Winky up for auction. And apparently, he's, <laughs> he has a. He has a. He still has a pristine copy of Killer Instinct to the right of him. Yeah. That is a bad, bad, bad. And look at so and look at the size of that double damn controller behind him. Jeez. I hope I'm gonna see you back again. Everybody likes old cranky. I bet my ugly old wife doesn't get half as many fists. Jesus. <laughs> Test my amazing knowledge. Uh, Go ahead, whippersnapper. So uh, what happens? Does he just tell us where like secrets can be found? Uh, yeah, basically. Huh. If, uh, yeah, uh, let's uh, do let's do the free roads for now. Uh, what, what? Tell me about pirate panic. Try using your team throw at the start. Trust me, oh, you I love it. Well, hang on. I, I thought these were oh, these are hints for me. I thought the, yes. it was the questionnaire. I'm I'm thinking ahead of game. No, you're think you're thinking of another Kong, a member of the Kong family, one who actually made his debut in this game. Oh, hey, I'm fun. getting tired. Go away and don't disturb me again. Oh, yes, why are you bother me? I, was, I also love that. I also love. I still love the detail that if you see him, like, he he doesn't have a walker. He just uses two. He just uses two canes side by side as a walker. Oh yeah, no, yeah. he's getting so old. He really need. He needs two canes just to even get anywhere in this goddamn island. Whoop. Oh boy, let's see where this is. <sighs> On today's bonus barrel, we have finding the token. Where, where is, is it? He? That it's in one of these chests, so help me. And by the way, actually, that is actually something worth noting. Uh, the location of the crimp coin there is randomized. Oh, really? Okay, mm -hmm. I was like, it can't oh, be that. Oh, there's a hook like, up oh. there, too. Ooh, a uh, hook. Oops. Oops. That's what <laughs> I hook get. right to your doom there, landlubber. All right, I, I bet Hype can make it because he's the better character in this entire game. Well, let me see. It depends. Well, actually, you know, why don't we go ahead and discuss the differences between Diddy and Dixie real quick. Uh, Dixie, obviously, has her ponytail that allows her to literally glide it across the midair, which, I mean, a lot of people will automatically use that as, as, an, as an example to tout her as the best of the two cocks. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it is helpful in a pinch, don't get me wrong. Though, for the, though that being said, Diddy's not without his own share of perks. Like, for example, I would argue he's a little more nimble than Dixie. And he handles barrels a little better than Dixie can. Dixie handles the barrels kind of like DK did in the original game, whereas Diddy literally has them right, like right, right up to his chest. I and I can I can see how I can see where you're going with that. Where like since Dixie throws it with her with her hair, there's kind of an odd delay or a bit of an odd like arc to it as opposed to Diddy who can throw them much quicker. Yeah, in in a way, Diddy I would say is the better character for the sake of getting a move on, but Dixie is primarily there as a means to. She's a safety net basically. But as you see here in the level design, they started playing a bit more with uh, using both Kongs as a pair as opposed to just as an extra life. Right, because if you press the A button, you can have the have your partner Kong latch up to your shoulders and you can use him as a projectile. That said, the projectile can be used to uh, to uh, basically hookshot to higher platforms, or in certain cases, you can even use that, that Kong as a projectile against the, the, those stronger moves, like these crushes. Because that is something to note. Is first of all, I love how whenever you hover, Diddy just kind of ascends and reverse descends. Just, you know. uh, secondly, is that um, that is something to be careful of. Is that nice? Is that with Donkey Kong kidnapped, we have we're both too weak to take down crushes. Well, sort of. Again, great. Run. again, again, if you have both Kongs together, you can use the team combo, you know, latch thingy in order to literally oh. toss your toss the other Kong at the uh, crusha and kill him. Okay. Oh, okay, that's actually Which, honestly, helpful. is something I didn't think a thing to actually do until, like, later, in later years. Try it. Like, throw me at it, him. Just for, yeah, like, throw, yeah, throw, throw Diddy at him. Do oh. There you go. Wow. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you morning. cannot toss your Kong off the pit. All right, all right. The token. So... Actually, why am I saying this unfortunately? Uh, that's a, that should be a good thing. Careful. So, I'm trying to think of, like, memories with this game in me. Like, it's... I mean, I'll say right now, at no point in my adolescent life did I ever beat this game because, yes, this game looks so fun, so warm, so inviting right away. It's And then basically what Dixie just did to that freaking Kremlin we're about to do. Oh. oh. Uh, but wait, wait, wait. Maybe, you can save wait, this. Wait, toss me up to the hook. Oh, hang on. Yeah, good idea. And for the record, no, you can't to you can't toss your buddy onto the target. That'll That won't count. After the second banana punch. Nah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, again, we're going to be trying grinding these out as many as we can because, like I said, this game has a very steep difficulty curve around World 3. Yeah. It does. 